it was real awkward and then at some point like the dude's friends were just like it's man time now i'm like huh like it's man time now i like excuse me basically they were telling me to fuck off home i'm just like what in the fuckity fuck the feeling that you might be did i turn you on you can tell me if i'm wrong Hey guys welcome back um it's been two years since my last oh geez this twang hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been two years since uh my last upload and that was about my experience with duramine unfortunately um i actually i, op I uploaded three episodes um but upon watching the last two episodes i didn't like them i felt they were a bit rushed and i was trying to force different topics to speak about and so i deleted them so the only one that's still available on uh, my channel is episode one because i felt like that was a, the most genuine it was the most honest representation of how i felt about duramine at the time now um the reason i haven't uploaded in two years is because i got a job in korea so i've been teaching i obviously have had time to make something um i think it just had to do with the nerves of creating content and then it not being received you know as highly as i want it to be received um i know that was an issue with me before where um it was a little bit disheartening if i didn't get the number of views that i wanted but now it's like ugh, who cares like really no who cares yeah so i've been trying to fill my time with other things and i decided you know what i actually did enjoy making videos so i'm just going to make one and the most well received video i have is about my experience with duramine so i thought i would give an update on that so i'm really sorry that i haven't been consistent i basically just dropped off the face of the earth um but i'm promising myself to be more consistent mostly because i don't really have a choice i live in jeju guys there's nothing to do here like mm -mm. like mm -mm. i live like 30 kilometers away from the city i hear chickens in the morning my future plans in terms of my youtube channel will be so i'm going to have um my experience with uh weight gain weight loss um eating disorders and that um i'll have i'll start vlogging even though to be honest guys i don't really know what a vlog is is it just like taking a video of you walking down the street and like talking to your friends i want to you know start a vlog um mainly of like this the side of me that people see on twitter and uh Thirdly, I might also upload some time lapses of me completing um, like a drawings or paintings on my laptop. Um, so those are my plans for the future. I mentioned um, Duramine before and in this video I will be talking about diatomine. What is diatomine? Firstly, I'm not even using Duramine anymore. Um, well, if you haven't watched the previous video, Diatomine and Duramine are two different brands, but it's the same type of medication. It's used for uh, weight management in obese people. It's a prescription drug. Oh, wow. It's a prescription drug. Thank you. There we go. Um, it's a prescription drug and a, I think it's an amphetamine. So yeah, it's basically meth. So um, it's in that family. It's an appetite suppressant. That's the mechanism that, you know, encourages weight loss in people who have a BMI of 30 and up. So the people who are suitable for um, this medication, I just said, a BMI of 30 and up, um, and you should not have a high blood pressure. Don't be pregnant. Like you shouldn't do that anyway. Duh. But you know, just try not to be pregnant. I know it's tough, but just try not to be pregnant if you want to do if you want to use duramine or diatomine, fentamine in general. Um, it does have side effects. When I checked on drugs.com, the most uh, the five most common. Uh, side effects include itching, dizziness or headaches, dry mouth or an unpleasant taste, diarrhea or constipation, 
and an increased or decreased um sex drive some of the side effects it's like you don't know if that's just happening because of your mood or if it's the medication because the side effect is either one extreme or the other which um in terms of side effects i haven't experienced any itching that isn't normal i haven't uh experienced the diarrhea or constipation the sex drive thing i don't know because it's been four days and i'm just really not thinking about that right now i experienced dizziness on the first day but i wouldn't really describe it as dizziness honestly i think i was high first day woo! i love that day i was like shoom shoom okay so before i uh start speaking about my experience with diatomine um i think it's important to get a sense of what my makeup is right now sorry i'm looking away because i'm trying to check what my bmi is my height i'm 167 centimeters my weight is well my weight as of today is um 150 115.6 so if i just quickly check and i'm not connected to the internet okay my other phone is dead i'm recording with my main phone and the wi-fi is being a bitch so it's not loading so i will just put my bmi here don't worry it'll be a surprise to me too so um now we know what my makeup is uh my goal weight is 90 kilograms now i'm not trying to be extreme and go to 80 kilograms i'm still fine with being chubby especially because i mean loose skin is going to be a thing and it's going to be a while before i get surgery for that i don't want to lose too much weight because i know for a fact having loose skin will make me spiral more than just being fat so anyway my goal weight is uh 90 kilo uh, 90 kilograms so um, i'm giving myself until december or january latest february to get all of that out if i'm not working actively towards that and i set like a two-year plan for a healthy weight loss then it'll never happen i will just yo-yo but if i'm really like uh-uh now we're doing now we must starve by force by fire we must do it I, I don't take pride in it but i'm definitely not going the health route because why that takes long if you want things to be done the correct way then make it like give me the the appeal so that's my goal now i'm going to be speaking on my experience with diatomine for the past four days this time i'm not going to do a, a breakdown of each meal that i had it makes the video much longer and less interesting so i will just say the total for that day if you want to know i will put it up on the screen so on day one i had uh the first dose at seven in the morning so i didn't have breakfast because i don't usually have breakfast and um within 30 minutes i've already felt like a slight boost in energy by the time i got to work i was like quite cheerful yeah my day went quite smoothly um my calorie intake for that day was 1428 calories honestly i didn't eat that much food it was the alcohol intake at the end of the day i'll explain that just now on day one i weighed 118 kilograms so at the end of the day after work i was invited to go to the beach to go drink with some guy and his friends who i didn't know from above so and i was the only english speaker there it was real awkward and then at some point like the dude's friends were just like it's man time now i'm like huh basically they're telling me to fuck off home i'm just like what in the fuckity fuck firstly this man i was about to go home early but i'm like you know what you guys can have your time to yourselves i'm gonna go home he's like no you can stay longer because i didn't know that this restrictions had been lifted that's the reason why i wanted to go home before 10. he's like no the restrictions restrictions have been lifted um there's no curfew at 10 you can stay longer you know i want you to stay longer hang out with me and my friends we're gonna go drink at a friend's place so when i go back to the table after being given this weird pep talk as i'm sitting down this dude's short ugly friend with very facial hair like looks at me like this wait let me just it's man time it's man time it's meantime. Okay. 
poor. So I went home. Day two, normal day at work, no incidents, um, no side effects that I can recall. Like the highness was gone. My calorie intake for day two was 1,315 calories, which I think is all right, considering it's like almost like 1,500 calories less than what I was eating before. And that's just an estimation. I have no idea how much I was eating before because I was eating like shit. Day three, also no incidents. No, 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 no. I don't know if it was PMS or if it was just like being moody from like the change in diet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thursday I was on one. I was on one. I was not fucking happy at all. When I checked, it was like five days to my period, so I have no idea. It's probably PMS. Yeah, my calorie intake for yesterday was 1,155. I don't want to go like over 1,500. Like 1,500 must be a cheat day. Like I shouldn't be touching that period but if i have a bad day or if i have a scheduled cheat day it cannot go over 1500 today i had breakfast um and then i started cleaning and preparing for this video so i haven't had time to eat any other meals yet i'm feeling fine i'm not feeling like hungry i'm feeling like slightly peckish i'll probably eat like some grapes when i'm done if we're just going to count breakfast, so far I've had 328 calories. Yeah, so that's my first few days experience with um, diatomine. If I were to compare diatomine and duramine, I think I prefer diatomine because, um, well, I still have to wait and see what happens. Um, I haven't felt anything weird with my stomach that's out of the usual. My stomach is already terrible in terms of sometimes having stomach pains and stuff like that. That's that's it for uh, today's video. I hope that you got the information that you needed. I'm actually planning to make a Q&A specifically about the medication like duramine or diatomine or just fentamine in general, as well as like questions about my particular weight loss journey. If you want, please ask me on um, Twitter or on Instagram, um, please feel free to ask me any questions. Any questions in general are fine, but I will definitely like prefer to focus on like eating and weight loss. I hope you enjoyed um, the video. I'm trying to keep them more simple, less you know, chaotic editing, trying to make it look more professional and then it just ends up looking more janky. I just want it to be like the just want to cut the fat and give you what it is that i say the video is about yeah bye guys